Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. And I pray for each one of you, as well as for myself, that we would be risen to new life on this day. by the Holy Spirit into a new and lasting life and complete the remainder of our lives in peace and repentance, always hoping in the resurrection and retaining the joy of this day within our hearts. Even when it becomes cloudy within and dark, we are grieved and there are shadows everywhere, we can remember the hymns from this evening, they call us to shine, to shine, to shine as the new Jerusalem, the new city of God, his city of peace, his kingdom of heaven on earth. And may we live as genuine stewards and participants within this community, reflecting everywhere so that people give glory to God when they see our good works our love, our compassion, our willingness to embrace and see sinners restored to new life. Amen. 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 Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Thank you to everyone for praying with us, for giving glory to the Lord on the day of his holy resurrection. Especially thank you to the choir who worked very hard to be prepared for this evening and for Holy Week. And also thank you to Laura Scott, mm -hmm. who did an astounding amount of work behind the scenes to make sure that the music was organized, that things were put together, that we had decorations, that so many things got done this week. And so many thanks to her, and thanks to all of our servers, and those who have who stood long. I said to the other, I said to the altar boys the other night, there was, you know, we were at the, 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 the service of the 12 Gospels on Thursday, and it had been about three hours, you know. And so I, you know, I hugged all of them, and I said, you guys are doing a really good job. Because they were here, you know, the, the service was, it was three and a half hours by yeah. the end. And, um, and they were not only did they endure, but they were enthusiastic. They were so excited. You know, they said, we made it all the way to the end of the service. <laughs> you know? And, um, which, is, which is wonderful. So God, God bless you all. And, um, and forgive me, because I'm, I'm forgetful and ignorant. There are many people that I ought to thank by name that I'm sure that I'm forgetting. And so please forgive me. And so if you come forward to receive, we'll actually have to bless the Paschal egg. So George, if you could grab the holy water there, and I have my book here. And then to come forward to receive the Paschal egg, and if you make your way to the courtyard, if you're staying to feast with us, please do. And just wait, and I'll come out, and we'll bless the food outside after everybody's gathered in the courtyard. And... Um, if you didn't bring anything, don't worry. People will share. That's part of the reason that we get together. You remember in the homily of Chrysostom, it said, let no one bewail his poverty, for the kingdom of heaven has been revealed. And so if you're poor and you didn't bring any food, don't worry about it. The kingdom of heaven has been revealed, and no one should go away hungry. And no one will go away hungry. So, um, so yes, yeah, so we'll say the prayer here. Can we just, uh, one minute, can we just thank Father, and God bless Father. Yes. We're blessed to have such a shepherd to, to lead us and to always pray for us and to guide us through these holy times. And Father, you, you stood at every service. <laughs> more than everybody, longer than everybody, and uh, so God bless you too. And we, we love you, 
And may God bless you many years since the resurrection. Thank you. Let us pray to the Lord.